So, well, in the last tutorial, we generated uh, the inverter symbol automatically, and in this tutorial, I will try to make my own symbol for the CMOS inverter. So, this was the schematic, and this was the corresponding symbol. So, let me go ahead and let me delete this symbol, and let me make my own symbol. So, just click here, CINV, and go to hierarchy create a new symbol and then you can create your new symbol your own symbol so let me get lines here i, I want to make triangle so you can press l or you, you can click here and these are various you know mm, points or gray on grid so be on grid and coincide your origin of this uh, you know a small indicator with this point and left click and come here one two three four five okay so five then left click and move your mouse don't drag move your mouse here so one two no how many are there one, two, three, four, five. I should have one more. Yeah, so that it looks even. Left click and then move your mouse here in the middle. And then left click and finally move it here. So I left click here and press escape to come out of this mode. And then I will grab a circle here and let's try to make a very small circle. Very small circle. Press escape. Again, let me go here and see for circle. And then try to make a circle. Just left click here and move your mouse. Do not drag. And left click. So this is a small circle around this uh, point of triangle and then again draw a wire line what did i do let me draw line what's happening so let me draw it from here left click and this is my symbol let me do it okay and then left click press escape and then let's fit the window and let's press L to draw a wire here. Left click and left click, press escape, press L and left click, left click. So this is my CMOS inverted symbol. And let us save it. File, save as, and symbol is uh, say, uh, extension is dot asy. And let me name it the same thing that like the schematic. So it will be cimd. So that I know that this is the schematic and this is the symbol. So this is mandatory, okay? And save. Okay. Now, there are two ports in and out. So let me again put ports. Oh my goodness, what did I do? This was not open. It was, my goodness. Let me delete one thing. And let's drag this in the middle. Oh, I thought I, I was drawing it for open. Left click. Okay. So again, save. And let me go to edit. Add pin or port, and my port name is in, and press OK, and put it here. Then again, press P or go here, and write out, and press OK. So you can move it along this, you know, and place it here. Left click. So this moves only on grid points, so that's why you see I have taken proper care of 
drawing on grid and if you draw it somewhere for example if you draw a wire draw a wire from this point to say say only this point and press escape so you will not be able to put this pin here because the pin will either locate here on this point or this point so that's what you need to take care of your line cannot be half okay so your line will go from this point to at least one grid so that you, you are able to port yeah, yeah, put the port on the grid port will always be there let me delete this extra thing from here and save so well this way i have this cmos inverter and its symbol you just click here this is symbol and it's okay let's escape and let me go to cmos sim that we, we, we did earlier and you can see that the cmos inverter we generated initially was with the box size now whatever changes you make here they, it will be it, those changes will occur here so let's move this okay nice let me put it here and let me move it here and place it here escape now what is inside this double click so you can see it okay so it's very important that the name of the symbol name of the symbol and schematic they both are same okay and they both are in the same directory otherwise you will have to take care of the addresses and press this button and see what happens let me try to reconnect reconnect and let us see what's happening. Uh, let us move this here and let us move this here. And let me reconnect using wire. Left click, left click, left click, left click. And that is it. Okay, sorry. Let's move it back. So that it touches the wire, left click, drag, left click and move, or drag, and save. Okay, and let us hit the simulation button to see what happens. Let's find here, and let's find it. So it's a nice simulation. And one more thing if you want to measure current, for example, so you can do it when you uh, put your mouse so that it's near a point. So this is this is symbol for uh, current. So you left click. So it, the current going into this is this much. Okay. So well, thank you very much for watching this symbol creation video in LGS Vice.